Hola amigos, hola amigas, Dorian here from Hoover Lux. Bienvenido, Kroisui, Assalamu alaikum, welcome to my channel. So today we're on a bit of a vacuum trip around. We're going to be doing 260 miles, two counties and six vacuum cleaners and a whinging dog in the background that you can slightly hear. So what we're off to do is we're off to pick up some vacuums from a, another guy who has a number of them to sell. So I'm gonna go pick them up uh, that need refurbing. And then after that, we're gonna travel down to another county and we're going to see a celebrity vacuum collector. Um, now I've admired this person even before I started um, collecting vacuums and uh, it's gonna be a real honor to actually meet him face to face so we know it's a bloke because i've just said so but uh we are still in grantham so we are going to head off now for our first part of the journey after i stop at the shop and get some treaties um and i'm not alone like i said i have the three dogs there in the background you can see and i also have my long suffering other half say hello hello there he is <laughs> Uh, who doesn't like to be on them? So anyway, so we are going to stop it right now and carry on. And when I get to the first part, uh, the first leg of the journey, then um, I'll come back. Okay, to you. amigos, we are here. We are in Northampton. We have done the first leg of the journey. Uh, Gilligan's in the back, a bit anxious. Um, so I'm going to go in and sort out these vacuums and uh, see you in a minute. Okay, everybody, we've got them. They're there in the back. How many were there? Five or six? Six. Six vacuums. I thought there was five, but it's actually six. There we can see the Junior. Uh, that's a lovely turbo power. Amazing in green. Uh, Electrolux Turbo 2. And you can't see down there. There's a Connie and a... An electrolux cylinder. The dogs are quiet. So yeah, so there we go. So we met Andrew. Very, very, very nice guy. Lovely, fantastic. Picked them all up. Had a good old chat with him. Brilliant. Feeling a bit peckish now. So I think we might stop somewhere on our way down to our celebrity collector to pick up another vacuum. Um, so we are heading off. I think that's going to take us about an hour to get there. So once we get there, I'll come back to you. So it's time for a little pit stop and I think it is going to have to be a McDonald's pit stop and it's not built yet. It's not open. <laughs> Ew, I wanted a McDonald's and now I'm not going to get a McDonald's because it hasn't been built yet. Oh no, there's people. No, it's popped off. But there's people outside it. I want a McDonald's. Okay, so we have finally arrived at the celebrity collector's house. Uh, we're just going to get out of the car and you will meet this person. Okay, so the car is parked up. We are heading towards the house of the celebrity. It's number nine, wasn't it? And we're gonna walk through. Oh god! And we are here because we've got to go through the back. Anybody recognize that shed? Is it? Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is this one. And where is this? Are they there? That's who I've come to see. That's the celebrity collector. Not too early. I just been to the shop. Here I am in the house of Sam. Hello, Hi. Sam. We've Hello. had a cup of tea, and also I have to You're stop. I'm to show you this. The Hoover Junior, finally completely refurbished. I brought a bellows down for Sam to fit the bag onto it. So that's all done and dusted. So. For a change, I'm going to be Sam's cameraman and I'm going to let him carry on and then he can demo it. Should we best plug it in then, don't we? 
and I hope it works after it did before. I think there's a plug socket down here. Yeah, so turn the light on. Pop it into low. And here we go. Oh, that there. sounds really good. You can hear it powdered the car, but have a Oh, like, definitely. Yeah, some. And with a super long cord, I can just plug it into the landing and do every room. Yes. So we've got some lovely glitter mess. <laughs> the best I can lay my hands on at the time of day. <laughs> Do you know what? I think I'm gonna to have to do that in my demos because you can really see it bouncing around better. You can. It's always good to see it. On my in the light. I've got a, a future video coming up that shows quite a lot of agitation, but I won't spoil the surprise yet. <laughs> so I um, hope you enjoy it, Mr. Hoover Lux. It's been an absolute pleasure to do. Yes, and it's been an absolute pleasure to come and pick it up as well. So yeah, I thought, well, I make. Kill two birds with one stone. What can we play with next? Exactly, and then come down and see it. That is fantastic. It just looks, it just looks like new. Considering what it was like when I sent it to you. Underneath all the filth, you know, it wasn't too bad. This is the underneath as well. Painted yeah, that looks really well. good. Oh wow! And everything else is underneath there, so you can't really see. No. It. But you will see it all in the refurb video. Yes, definitely. Refurb thread, even sorry. I best take my after pictures before you go. <laughs> yeah, you better add. Yeah. Well, there we go. Thank you very, very much for Sam for no doing worries. that. Actually performing miracles on what was literally just going to get thrown in the bin. No, don't throw them in the bin. Exactly. Do not throw them in the bin. Give them to Sam. Anyway, he doesn't tell his wife. And um, thank you very much for watching this, and I'll see you all Okay, in so we're back in the car. We've spent an hour or so with Sam. Absolutely amazing guy. Fantastic welcome. Brilliant. Loved every minute of it. We took one of the dogs in. We took Millie in with us. And uh, the kids absolutely adored her. And she adored them as well. So we're late in that. We can't see it at the moment because it's uh, in the boot with the dogs. Because... Uh, a little bit of uh, not much room there anyway so I'd like to say a huge thank you to Sam and to his wife and um, Amy absolutely amazing thank you so much guys it was brilliant so we've just left I'm gonna reset the sat nav to get our way home um, come across a McDonald's or something hopefully that will be finished built so you know I possibly might be able to get a burger this time and um, I'll see you all for the next part okay so after a little bit of traffic delay what time is it quarter past seven we're absolutely starving now so we're gonna stop we are here at the OK Diner just after um, Stamford isn't it Stamford so yeah we're gonna start having some foodies Okay, so it's quarter to nine in the evening, finally pulled into the drive. Uh, 227 miles, and what time did we leave? 12. 12, and it's taken us nine hours, but that is with the stops and tea and talking to Sam and blah, blah, blah. So what we're going to do now, we're going to unpack the car, I'm going to get everything in the living room, and then we'll have a quick look at the hall. So here we are, we are inside, in the warm with everything we have that we picked up today there you can see it down there so we're going to start off with this turbo power sorry turbo power turbo two 
by Electrolux. Then we've got this Kirby, I think it's a Heritage. Carl Tradition, I can't remember. Then we've got the Turbo Power Plus. Then we've got the Turbo Power Junior, one of the early ones. Another pink constellation. And an Electrolux cylinder. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the power cable because I've got the extension cord in here and we'll switch them on okay, and have a so look. the first one we got on our list is this Electrolux. I think it's extremely retro. It's in very, very good condition. It just needs a good clean up. There is a teensy weensy bit of damage on this just here. And around the side. So if we look at the information sticker underneath which is upside down we've got this Electrolux Z God I can't read myself uh, Z345 serial number 235 240 volts 750 watts so very very good caster on it back wheels metal bottom we open up there have a look on the inside doesn't got a bag in it but it's very clean and then we have the sensitivity marker there on the front for it to shut off when the bag gets full We've got the power cord coming out of the back wheel, which I think is very, very good. I like that a lot. So what we do is we pull the cable out. Pull the cable in. Needs a little bit of oil in, but it's in very good condition. So, let's plug her in. There we go. Power light comes on, saying that there's power in. We'll switch it on. Oh, check bag. Oh, because I got the sensitivity on. Technical right, sl slight technical issue here because there's no bag in it. Obviously, it's not going to work because all the sensors are indicating that there's no bag. So I have to put a bag into it for all of the little fail safes so that you don't use it without a bag for it to work. But uh, it was tested. Andrew did test it for me, but there was no bag in it and it was torn. So unfortunately, I need to get a bag for it so that I can test it. So this one, unfortunately, is going to be on hold because I don't have a bag. Anyway, we'll put that to one side. Let's try number two. So the second one on our hit list is this Hoover Constellation in pink. Let's take the cord off. There we go, a lovely pink Connie. This is, needs a clean up. On the inside of it, because unfortunately the bag is split. Um, but what we're gonna do is we're just going to switch it on to see if it works. This suffers just like my other can Connie suffers with the issue of the switch. The switch is on, and then to switch it off, you have to just gently just push it down again. So, unfortunately, that one needs a new switch just like my other one does. So, I'm gonna have to order some new switches for that. 
Next, we have this Turbo Power Junior by Hoover in a lovely Cotswold beige colour. I'm going to turn it around. This has a bag fitted in it. This is just literally just a switch on for you to see. So, let's plug it in. Works fine. Just need a good old clean up, tidy up. Uh, it's got the lower cord hook in perfect condition, which is quite good for that. Next, we have the Turbo Power Plus. Lovely machine in green. Let's have a look at this. Plug her in. bag in there needs a bit of a cleanup and a tidy up and a polish it's got two speeds just needs a tidy up and a bit of use that also has the lower cord hook intact Blah. put that to one side Next on the testing hit list, I'm going to do this Electrolux Turbo 2. She does have a bag inside, but uh, needs a bit of cleaning. So let's switch this on. Had a new cord on it as well. Let's see if I can get a um, cream coloured cord for it, possibly. I can't remember what the original colour would have been on these. Would it have been black? I think it might have been black or grey. I'm not 100% sure. But we will find out. So there we go. There's that. And finally, on my hit list of testing. Oops, sorry. Is this Kirby? There we go. There she is. Handle needs uh, the spring on it is gone, but that's not a problem. That can be that can be sorted. I have a spare one of them. Original cord, cable, and everything. So I'm not sure if this is on or off. So we shall switch it on and find out. Nope, it's off. <laughs> Excellent. That's definitely got a lot of oomph in it. The motor sounds really good. a headlight but not a problem we can put a headlight on it give it a good clean up and a polish and that will come up like new but the motor sounds very good on it so there we go those are the vacuum cleaners that I picked up today I'm not going to be talking about the junior that I picked up from Sam because that's going to go on a separate video that we've been doing together in collaboration in cahoots so there we go i hope you've enjoyed today 
It's been fun, it's been long, but it's been fun. It's definitely been a fun day. I've enjoyed it a lot. So you will see a lot more of these vacuums as I progress in cleaning them up. I'm going to do the I'm going to do the Turbo Power Plus and the and that Turbo Turbo Power Junior first because I have another one in the garage that needs doing up as well. So I'm going to do them together. And then we'll crack on with some of the others. So thank you very much for watching. On behalf of myself and the doggies, we'd like to say a great big thank you to Andrew Gable for selling the vacuum cleaners to me. And a huge, huge, huge thank you to Sam Watson for his hospitality and meeting Amy and the kids and everybody was fantastic. Thank you so much. So please comment, like and subscribe. I got a lot more videos coming up now, as you can see. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye for now.